Hello and welcome back. This is Double Debbie and this is episode 98 of Ocean Block. <laughs> oh yeah, and today we're actually going to build <laughs> the uh, induction cell. Um, I don't remember what is, what is that called? Let's look. Um, So it doesn't have the uh book is there a notebook for mechanism? Is there no manual? Okay, well, it's just the multi-block structure. <laughs> it's a battery. Uh, so, <clears throat> let's put this book away. That didn't help any. Um, so, I think I want to set this up out by the reactor over here, where we'll be... Uh, Pulling out the power. How do we get the power out of here? Is there some sort of uh, turbine port? Uh, there's a turbine valve. Does that take out power? Because I'd like to have it over here. Alright, well, let's plan on it being like uh, right here. You can always set up the structure and then hook it up after I look into it. Uh, so we'll want like a port back here. I finally was able to just put it over here for the output since this is over the island, over the water. I mean, um, I don't know if these need to be touching the provider or the cell if it matters on the inside since it's a multi-block structure so I don't know <gasps> it did the thing awesome so it's it's empty it's storing 1.6 TFE, which is, I guess, a terabyte, a, a million gazillion gazillion. <laughs> so that was that wasn't too bad. Once uh, once I got all the machines upgraded um, and taught it to. Uh, smelt stack by the stack for certain things um no not that uh i taught it to use these factories to smelt stacks at a time of stuff or to crush uh so it's making electrum and uh bronze again so at least it's going a little bit faster than uh, before because now it's got 
three Tesseract Singularity. So this will soon be done and it'll stop making the Tesseracts and then we'll have uh, a lot easier time going once it, it finishes finally. <laughs> it's so amazing. And then it uh, makes the blend and sends it over here. Uh, I also have it uh, making some dust for um, for the uh, mechanism combines. Like you need osmium dust for some components, so it can send it over here pretty quickly. Um, and here it's just got the bronze, electrum, and steel. Um, I fixed the steel. <laughs> I know. I don't know what I was thinking last episode where I put the I put the thing in the smelter with trying to just smelt the uh, enriched iron, <laughs> and that, that doesn't work. Um, so yeah, I fixed that. And it's trying to make a whole stack at a time, so that's pretty cool. And I made it uh, make a whole stack of these at a time. So instead of it just trying to send one at a time, it sends a whole stack and can quickly get through it. So yes, it is going way better than just being over here. Um, there are a few things left. Um, it's a lot of stuff getting smelted. I might move the stone over to there and make it a stack at a time. Yeah, let's do that now. Another thing is that if you put this in here, you can load up the recipe and then change it like this very quickly. Um, so that is cool. That is pretty cool. Get rid of that. Awesome. So <laughs> we're one step closer to turning on that reactor, but uh, we still need more uh, things set up. So we need um, some waste disposal, uh, radioactive waste disposal, so let's see, radioactive waste barrel. These are what we need. The problem is, is these only hold so much, and they only... Uh, the radioactive waste decays, but it does it so very slowly. So if it gets filled up, it'll back up your um, reactor and that could make it explode. <laughs> so we want to make sure that we get a lot of radioactive waste barrel set up um, to help with the uh, handling of that. So this is a pretty easy recipe, um, but I don't know how many of those I'm going to need. So let's just go ahead and teach it, uh, teach it the radioactive waste barrel. Do I want to put this out there? We could go out there and set this up. Um, I was thinking we could put it over in this area. Maybe a little ways away. And I guess this will be... A fluid? I need like a fluid pipe? A mechanical pipe? Okay, um, maybe a couple more. 
yeah, we could make, um, cause I don't, well, I don't know if these behave like, uh, like these chemical tanks where if you line them up, if they connect, if they're interconnected. So that would be something interesting to find out. Um, but, let's see. This thing is getting close to being full. And this is turned on. Turned off. Okay, it's disabled. Um, let's put that there. I'm trying to think if I want to go ahead and turn it on for a minute, um, just to produce some waste. Uh, to see how it um, behaves. <laughs> so, uh, oh yeah, we were going to put this in here. And let's see. Um... just want to do like a five by five for this. Um, let me think. Uh, do I want... That was pretty easy to make 25 of those. Maybe we could... Uh, also see if they connect vertically as well, if it doesn't at all. I don't know, I don't know how these behave. I've never played with them before. They do connect texturally. <laughs> Visually, they connect. Uh, so, I want to, oh look, that didn't even really connect to that. How are you supposed to get it uh, to there? Redstone sensitivity. Aww. Um, yeah, don't really need to worry about those guys because the, with the trinkets, they catch on fire. So they just fly around and burn until they die. connect to the top. It doesn't look like it's connected to the top either. Um, maybe there's a special kind of pipe. Okay, let me just... Okay, 
here's all the different cable that's for power that's for oh pressurized tubes i think this might be what we need let's shift for details gases okay that might be what we need then um let's teach the system to make all of those um, basic pressurized tube um, advanced pressurized tubes elite and ultimate no that's elite ultimate Awesome. Awesome. Okay, let's get some of those. Um, are those? They're tubes. They're tubes. Aha, there we go. Okay, now we're cooking. What? Oh, it was a uh, phantom parts. Uh oh. Got one of those. Okay. So now we got our tubes. Uh oh. Things are happening. I hope this works. No, it doesn't. Does it connect to the top? Yes. Okay. Um, what about the bottom? Does it connect through the bottom? It does connect through the bottom. Okay, so we could um, get all of those back and, oh, not you. Get one of you out here. <laughs> it's so wiggly out here. Move so fast. It's hard to control. Okay, so we should be able to hook these guys up. Well, I guess I didn't find out if they feed into each other, but they only feed from the top or the bottom. That looks pretty cool. Um, and if we need more, we can always put another 50 on top of that. Um, Okay, so this might be a gas. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Oh, I'm so scared. Um, is it a gas? Uh, it's a fuel. Let's try gas first. Connects and... Okay, it's not coming out. Side config. Gases is inputting and then outputting the front. 
So we need the top to be an output. Aha! So it holds 208,000 millibuckets. Oh boy. So that took everything. Um, so it must be in the pipe. Because that was over 400,000 in here and it's only got 200 in the tank. Um, so the stats, the rate limit is the rate at which it burns the fuel. So you could be very safe and have it at 0.1 millibucket and that would probably never explode maybe unless things got out of hand <laughs> um, so current burn rate is 0, 0.0 because it's not on um, what we might want to do is uh, I just want to produce a little bit of waste um, you know Oh, I think there's there's some of the process that we want to do before or after we get this. Wait a minute. Cuz we want to we want to make the mech suit helmet uh, or suit, the whole suit and it takes this polonium pellet. We already got the HDP sheets. Um and this takes polonium which is nuclear waste in a solar neutron activator oh it's another doodad we need to make um okay so what do we do with that um so yeah we want to definitely ultimate pressurize to want to definitely pull this out and store it. Uh, but then we can take um, what we need for this what is it? The solar solar Neutron activator. That doesn't look too hard at all. We should have all of that. Yes. Okay, so. Hmm. How am I going to take it out? Uh, because there's no like input output setting on that. You can't double up. So I might have to might have to put some more pipes down here. Unless these all like connect to make sort of like a multi-block structure type of thing, which would be cool. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I can reach the middle of these to turn them all to output. Ah! No, I want to be right where I was. Okay, I think I can make it. I think I, I think I can. If I can sit still. No. Uh, uh. There we go. Uh, uh. Get that one 
chain. There. Oh, I changed the one behind it. I see. That's why it didn't work. Okay, so now we could be putting that there. Did, it did not seem to connect. Um, let's try putting it underneath. Yeah, that connected. All right, so now it should there's no side configuration or anything. So I guess we just need the waste in there now. Oh. Okay, I didn't change the rate limit, so I think we could put it at like 10. Oh, whoa. Hold on. It sucked all of the water out. still. Why isn't there more water coming in? Oh! Um. Like, holy cow. Uh, crap. That just, uh, water was not sufficient. Okay, I guess that's, um, I don't think there was any waste. And, oh, my, my whole system's probably going to be shut down because it killed off the controller or the, Oh, that was only at 10. It destroyed part of the turbine. A little bit of the pipes, but not the waste barrels, because they're made of lead. Um. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, I got some blocks over here. Is there something I can... No. It's nothing valuable. I did get some patterns. Whew. <laughs> okay, so I guess let's try to get the... Oh, we can't... Can't get that. Um, let's get the... Um, the network receiver back out there. Um, yes, and it should already sync up with the other one. And then I need, oh, I think I have a wireless transmitter right here. Um,
Boop, boop. Wow, I can't believe that it did that so quickly. It drained every last bit of the water. Okay. I think it destroyed part of my portal too. So this may not work. Oh, it did. Um, okay, it works still. It works. So, all right, let's set this down. I don't think this, well, all right. Um, I guess I have to get that card and re uh, reconfigure it. I wish I should put like a sign on these which ones they are. All right, at least the portal's still activated. Okay. Um Let's try this. There we go. Um, now let's go back out there and see if we can access our stuff. Yes. Um, what did I... I'm missing... Oh, it's because it was sitting here and the crafting oh, the pattern grid was was over here. That's what it was. Okay, so we need a crafting grid because uh, that's going to help a lot. I guess I don't have that automated. Have to have to reconnect this uh, here, there. Put the pattern grid there. Uh, now I need to set up the card again. Um, that's fine. That's fine. So I guess I'm going to um, increase my water production because um, that didn't uh, uh, so I don't know if I should um, I think there might be a, a pump or something that Oh, it didn't do that. that. Oh. Yeah, they got an electric pump. I wonder if I need to use that, if that'll make a difference. It looks pretty easy to make. Fluid plenisher. Shift in. A machine that is capable of creating entire lakes by filling ravines with fluids. 
No, I don't think I need that. Um, so just the pump. Maybe we'll get um, three. We'll get three. Oh, they don't stack. I guess. Okay, so I'm getting ahead of myself here. So let's go back out and connect this. Um, I don't know if you have to shift click or right click. So I'll do both. <laughs> There we go. There we go. And maybe we need to move the reactor back a couple of blocks because that's just on the edge here. <laughs> so if we move it back a couple of blocks, it won't destroy anything. And it's good to know that it hadn't produced any uh, radiation yet. So it didn't leak any radiation either. So that was that was really good. Did we get any radiation in here? We did. We got 100 millibuckets of polonium. And it's got a 0 0.05 radioactivity. Um, cool. <laughs> that was an expensive 100 millibuckets. Um, I wonder if any went in here. Can we see? Oh, it did. It's got a little bit of nuclear waste in all of these, too. Not the bottom ones, because the bottom ones pulled out and put into here. Um, trying to plan this out a little bit better so that if there is another explosion, um, it, the damage will be less, hopefully. So maybe if I scooch this out a little bit further and scooch out the reactor a little bit, it needs to be this needs to be a little bit further away as well <laughs> poor turbine <laughs> um, I think I got some extra casings in the system to fill that out turbine casings I think I made too many Um, oh yeah, that was like one more. Oops. Where did it go? That is like the second time I've broken something and it disappeared. I broke something with the draconic staff of power and it just disappeared. So it looks like all that's all that's left is the structural glass, a few vents around, and and my ports. So we need a couple of ports, I guess. Mission reactor port. Did I not automate that? Huh. I don't 
don't see it. You got the turbine vents. There's the tur oh the turbine valve. It's the valve that I want, not a port. Okay, crass two. I need to. Um actually I might hold off on finishing this. Um, until I rebuild the reactor and scooch it over a little bit to like right here. Um, to where this end is over here. That way it'll be right on the edge of the blast radius. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm going to clean up this mess <laughs> and uh, rearrange everything uh, to where it's a little bit safer, maybe even push it out a little bit away from the portal um, so that if it happens again, I can get out here without um, being irradiated because <laughs> I'm guessing this whole area where the explosion would have been could have been irradiated if there had been radiation in there if there had been the the waste in it because only the waste is radioactive okay so <laughs> yeah thank you for watching and we'll see you next time <laughs> bye bye